getting excited but nervous also. Hi fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maputo Malu. Where I'm standing right now, it's I'm going for a scuba dive. Yeah, this is a scuba dress. Inside, I'll be taking an instruction without the dress. I'll be doing all those things, but I'm going for a scuba drive. Scuba dive, sorry. And this is one of my bucket list. I'm starting with my first bucket list thing. And let's get started with this dress, this fancy dress. And I'm kind of water nervous because like, I don't know swimming, but I just have the confidence to do that. And I'm just getting in. Sandals, I'm removing here. This is my instructor. Hiya. What's your name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. So he's my instructor. This is the first time that after my college I'm sitting in front of a person and studying something. But this class was very important because like it explained what needs to be done, how things needs to be done, what are the major precautions that we should uh, take inside the water and how to breathe properly and the consequences if you don't do it properly. This class was mainly focused about my health, my breathing issue, if I have asthma or any other problem and what needs to be done after when I go like each meter inside the water. Because like each meter when you go like inside the water, you get pressure on your ears. The same pressure what you get when you travel on flight or something. So when I go each meter down, like I have to close my nose and I have to pump air through my ears. Then only it gets normal. Or it's like the, if I don't do that and if I go down, then I'll have a headache and dizziness will start. So this was very important and uh, he explained it properly. Things are not easy because like after my class now I'll have to fill this form with questions and if I pass this then only he will allow me to go for the scuba diving. So what all he have thought it's written in the form of questions I'll have to answer all those. Yes, no, but and yes, so guys cheatings are not allowed over here because like I'm the only one sitting over there and if I cheat over here I'll struggle in the ocean. So I don't want to do that. And see, this is the way like I was filling up my exams. Fam, I'm filling the form. Okay, these are the uh, basic mandatory forms that you have to fill. Like whether you have any ear problem or any heart problem, or any asthmatic problem or any other problems you have. So we have to fill over here as it's shown over here like right now I don't have any of the problem that is that's why it's all known with a lot of things over here and the most important thing what I was afraid of what I was scared of is like the assumption of risk assessment what all risk or what all problems can be there because of this everything has been mentioned I have to sign, uh, put my name I have to get it signed all those things nervous but excited also now my instructor will verify whether I was right or wrong. Did I pass the exam or not? So successfully I passed the exam. Now the real hardship starts because like I'll have to understand how my kit works. The buttons, the small button is to inflate air into the kit and the bigger button is for to deflate the air from my kit. And this will help me in floating in the water or going under under the water. So it's very important to understand at what time I should inflate or deflate the air from my bag or kit. So fam, this is the paper that I have filled. All the instruction has been explained properly. and assistance of this assessment everything has been explained i have signed i have signed everywhere everywhere and 
This is my instructor. See, control device. Yes, so it's my BCD, and when I put this on, place a hold from this, my shoulders, I put this on down. The instructor is basically explaining me how to wear the oxygen cylinder, which all buttons, which has to be done, which have to be uh, tightened properly, fastened properly, because under the water, when we uh, swim, it might shift left or right, and we should be very careful about that. That's why it's very important. You have this one here. This is your primary one, the one you use to breathe for me. Mm -hmm. And there's always you have this always on your right shoulder. And this is your alternate air source. But if your body needs to share the air with you, or if you want to share the air with someone, then you can give this to him. Yeah, give this one to him. And this is yours. Okay. And this is your gauge. This one here. So I don't want to bore you guys. Basically, my instructor is saying that if it's half tank, inform him because he should be careful of when the oxygen is getting over. That's it. And there's a lot of things to take care of uh, your meter gauge, all those things, the oxygen level, if it's coming properly, all those things you have to take care. That's all things are not important for you guys. But let's carry on. So now it's time for me to solve my yes. doubts. I'm just clearing my doubts yeah, because I'm the one who's no, getting inside the water and I'll be alone over yeah, there. So I'm just clearing my doubts. But not 400, not either 300. Getting excited but nervous also. Trying the things. It's comfortable for me. I don't know how to wear the swimsuit or my dress, but this is how we wear it. We are just getting into the pool, swimming pool. The pool is like almost three meters uh, deep. So I'll be practicing there uh, first. After that, like tomorrow, we'll be going to the ocean. The time is not yet decided, but we'll be doing the ocean work tomorrow. This is how it is. This is the support system, the oxygen. This is the life inside the sea. So this is what I'll be wearing. This is what will help me breathe inside water. I'm just making sure that it's all right because I don't want to drink swimming pool water. I'm checking with this equipment how to breathe, how to breathe in, how to breathe out. I'm just checking it again and again and again. Getting all set for the swimming pool section. The problem is I don't know swimming, but this will help me out. It's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very tough to walk this. So fam, your Maputo Malu is all set. This is the air level, okay, over here like it should be 200 and as my instructor had told me like it should be 200 and uh, this is my breathing, okay, this is what is going to uh, help me in underwater. <laughs> it's just like this, okay, and Shalu is helping, in, uh, helping me in shooting. I'm going to a pool right now, the pool is like a couple of meters from here. I'm just walking there. I'll start walking because it's sunny. I have to wear my flip flop. And I'm going to Bicardo. So my instructor is walking in the friend. And 
teacher in the front, student at the back, walking like this. Meters, but even like I'm getting tired. I'm getting started. These are the weight belts that help you stay under water. You don't float easily up. So no way that you are coming easily up if you're under water. Okay, let me see. Start it After putting this, I'm trying to be fan, you don't get air. Okay, so it's like stops you over there, this portion. So you can say it stops, you don't breathe. If you pull, you don't get nothing. So you have to take this off, then you have to breathe. Got it? I'm not ringing because I'm nervous, but uh, I'm feeling thirsty. So the swimming pool session started off like this. Initially, it was difficult for me to be in the water because like I, I don't know swimming and I was afraid like whether I'll get the oxygen, what happens, all those tension, nervousness, everything was there. And uh, with the fins, it's difficult to swim in the water because like, yeah, it's easy to swim, but you can't stand. So when you try to stand, like you fall, there was a lot of lots and lots of problem in the initially. But slowly, slowly, like when you get used to it, you understand like what needs to be done in the water, how things need to be done. Breathing was not the problem for me. For me, like the weight was not getting balanced. Like I was just shifting on around. The day was fine. Everything was fine. Only the worst part, what I felt is like when I go inside, like uh, the deep below the uh, three meters over there, I had problem. Like I, I was getting nervous. I know that I'm able to breathe. I know everything is happening. But even when I was getting nervous, like I was, I was not having the courage to go inside uh, because like over there, like the water is above your head and you can't stand like you're down all those things the problem was there but slowly slowly like it took some time but still you got used to it the day was pretty good fam day one swimming pool training is got over uh the problem is like the i can breathe there's no problem but the problem is like i'm not able to swim i think in the ocean it will be easy and when I get turned off like this, like I'm finding it very tough, like I'm getting panic and uh, I don't know what's going to happen but I understood these buttons, I understood how to take this off but when uh, water is getting inside your goggles, it's very tough, uh, it's very tough it means like you have to be unstable, you have to take off, that's the place where you can drink water and that's what I'm afraid of tomorrow but let's see what happens, let's get started, I'm going back, okay, I have to keep this, I have to go back, this is the pool it's like a uh, 3 meter deep, I tried that, it's fine. Come on, let's go. So fam, take off your wetsuit over here. 